Hiccups. Everyone has them at some point and they can be very annoying. In this video, I will share with you the top scientifically proven methods on how to get rid of hiccups based on my clinical experience and experts' opinions. So keep on watching to find out everything there is to know about hiccups. To understand hiccups, let's take a quick look at how normal breathing occurs. Generally, the diaphragm, which is the muscle responsible for breathing that separates your chest from the abdomen, contracts to change the pressure inside the lungs relative to atmospheric pressure. As a result, air will rush into the lungs when the diaphragm contracts, as the pressure inside the lungs has become lower than atmospheric pressure. Conversely, when the diaphragm relaxes, lung volume is reduced and pressure is increased, leading to a pressure gradient that pushes the air outside of the lungs. That is, in a nutshell, how normal breathing occurs. Now that you're familiar with the breathing mechanism, let's see how hiccups happen. Hiccups are the result of abrupt diaphragm contractions followed by your throat closing up, which creates the hic sound. These contractions happen for a limited period of time but in some patients, they can last for days or even weeks. Depending on how long the hiccups last, we have three major types. Transient hiccups, which last for less than 48 hours. Persistent hiccups, which last for more than 48 hours. And intractable hiccups, which last for more than two entire months. The causes of hiccups are diverse and include benign conditions such as physical or chemical irritation of the airways, GERD that stands for gastroesophageal reflux disease which is the result of acid going up the esophagus, eating too much food, some sort of food such as carbonated drinks, spicy foods and alcohol, and finally emotional stress. On the other hand, we have serious conditions that can also lead to hiccups including stroke, where blood flow is interrupted, tumors, and infections. For the infections, hiccups are commonly seen when the infection occurs under the diaphragm. Alright, now that we have covered all the basic concepts of hiccups, it's time to see how we can get rid of them. Based on my clinical experience and scientific papers published by reputable sources, there are two types of treatment for hiccups. Pharmacological treatment, which involves using drugs such as chlorpromazine, gabapentin, and baclofen. These drugs are prescribed for patients who suffer from persistent or intractable hiccups that are interfering with their daily lives. For most people, however, we only need one or more of the following home remedies. First, hold your breath. This technique is the go-to method by almost everyone who has hiccups. The concept is easy. You want to force the lungs to stop moving and fixate the diaphragm until it gets back to a normal rhythm. This way, contractions become normal again and hiccups disappear. For a bonus tip, I often advise my patients to hold their breath periodically, especially if the hiccups are too abrupt to control. What do I mean by periodic breathing? Well, instead of holding your breath for one time, try to release the air out of the lungs and breathe in quickly just before the hiccup occurs. Of course, you need to time the hiccup and do this maneuver just before it happens. This bonus step gives your lung extra power to keep the diaphragm steady. The second technique is to drink water. Whenever we eat or drink, our epiglottis shuts down to prevent any food or drinks from entering the lungs. This process will be of use to us when trying to stop hiccups. By sipping water, the epiglottis stays shut, which stops the breathing for a while, restoring the normal contraction of the diaphragm as a result. Bonus tip! To optimize the effectiveness of this method, put a glass of water on the table and lower your body while trying to drink from the opposite side of the glass. This position will put more pressure on the diaphragm, which is our goal. The third technique is the Heimlich maneuver. 
The Heimlich maneuver is typically used to remove a stuck object in the airways of a patient. However, we can also use this technique to get rid of hiccups. First, ask someone for help. Second, stand still and tell the person helping you to put both their hands and perform the Heimlich maneuver shown on the screen for three times at a 10 second interval. This method is very effective and stops hiccups immediately. The fourth technique is the Valsalva maneuver. This maneuver also works by stabilizing the diaphragm. All you have to do is pinch your nose shut and close your mouth. Then try to forcefully breathe out. The stable air pressure inside your lungs will ensure that the diaphragm is not irregularly contracting, stopping the hiccups as a result. Finally, you can distract yourself by doing something you enjoy. I know this seems like a random piece of advice, but believe me, it really works. You see, the vast majority of hiccup cases disappear after a few minutes to a few hours, and constantly thinking about them will not help. Instead, try to go for a jog, watch Netflix, or maybe practice mindfulness. Regardless of the type of activity you choose, it will distract you from the hiccups, and after a while, you will realize they are no longer there. Making YouTube videos is no easy task. It requires hours of research, writing the scripts, and animating the videos. I wanted to create this channel to deliver credible information without any biases, and hopefully, you may consider supporting me by subscribing to my channel and turning on the notification bell to avoid missing out on any future releases. Thank you so much for watching.